Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to look at risk and return. And we're going to look at it in terms of average return, the standard deviation, and something called a coefficient of variation. So let's begin with a few um, definitions. So average return is simply that. It's simply a summary of an investment's past performance. And in order to find this average return, we're going to take all the returns for the period that we're interested in and we're going to sum them all together. That's what this big sigma represents. So add all of your returns together and divide it by the number of returns you have which is denoted by n. As you can tell this is simply a good old-fashioned arithmetic average. When we look at the standard deviation this is a measurement of past return volatility or variation and we are able to associate volatility and variation with risk. In other words, the more unreliable or the more varied our returns are, the higher the risk is in the investment. And the way that we find the standard deviation is we take each individual return and we subtract it from the average. So we'll take the return minus the average and then we square it. Next return minus the average and square it. And once we've done that for all of the returns that we have, we're going to sum them all together. And because we deal with samples of returns, we're going to divide that sum of the squared deviations by n minus 1. And this will give us the standard deviation. And last but not least is a coefficient of variation. And this is really a measurement of risk to reward um, for an investment over some given point in time. Um, the smaller the coefficient of variation, the better our risk reward relationship is. The higher our coefficient of variation, the higher the degree of risk is. So what we're able to do is to look at the coefficient of variation of two investments and determine which one has the better risk reward relationship. Remember, the smaller the CV, the less risky the investment, the higher the CV, the higher the degree of risk. And the way that we're going to do that is we're simply going to take the standard deviation of the returns, going to divide it by the average return, and our result is going to be this coefficient of variation. So I'm over here in Excel, and what I have is I have two sets of returns. I have a set of returns for HP and a set of returns for General Motors, and I have five years' worth of returns. And I've simply entered these into um, their respective columns, making sure to use the negative when I have a negative return. The first thing we're going to calculate is average return. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to type in equals, and then we're going to start typing A, V, E, and right here you'll see this function that says average, and it says returns the average arithmetic mean, and we're going to double click on that. And now what it's asking you for is where are the numbers you want me to average. I'm going to come up here, I'm going to grab that, and I'm just dragging down. So you can see it's going to average B2 through B6, and I'm going to hit Enter. So now I'm going to find the average for GM. I'm going to type in again, equals A, V, E. And I want this average. Double click, get my parentheses, and I'm going to simply drag, drop, and enter. So now I know that the average return for HP is 12.5%. The average return for um, General Motors is 0.42%. Let's find the standard deviation. So the way that I'm going to find the standard deviation is much the same. I'm going to begin typing into my um, cell, and I'm going to type in equals STD. You'll see that you have all of this that comes up, and what you want is the standard deviation of the sample. right? So you want stdev.s. I'm going to double click on that. And again, it wants to know what my numbers are. So if I wanted to 
I could just put in the hard cell references and say I want everything from B2 colon down to B6. And you'll see how it automatically highlighted that. I'm going to hit enter and there's my standard deviation. Here I'm going to do it again. I'm going to look at STDEV and you'll see down here STDEV.S. Double click on that. This time I'm just going to drag and drop. Okay. And so the standard deviation of HP is 21.97. General Motors is 17.98. So the higher the standard deviation, the more varied the returns. And now we're going to do coefficient of variation. So the coefficient of variation is found by taking standard deviation divided by the average return, which is simply our mean. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say equals standard deviation slash mean. So B9 divided by B8 is going to give me enter 1.76. So now I'm going to say here enter standard deviation slash average in C8 and I'm going to hit enter. So if I looked at the two of these, um, we know that the lower the coefficient of variation, the less risk there is involved. And so if I was choosing between the two stocks and I was looking to maximize my risk versus reward relationship, the stock that I would choose would be the HP stock. As always, I hope that you found this useful and thanks for watching.